So, um, Eugene Green Lantern uh, here, um, release party. What is the process like making this mixtape? What is the process of the album? Yo, uh, it was crazy, man. We uh, started out making a mixtape, you know, uh, with that attitude. And then uh, it just turned into an album, you know. And then it's all original beats. It's like 14 joints. I produced all of them except one. Uh, my engineer snuck a, snuck a beat on the album. And uh, it's a crazy song. You know, the whole album's nuts. And uh, man, it's the pulse of the people's dead press. And, and who can say what DJ producer can say they made an album with dead press? Come on, man. So, you know, I'm good. I won already. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Um, how do you feel your life changed after you stopped being uh, the tour DJ for Eminem? Say it again? How do you feel your life changed after you stopped being the tour DJ? It really didn't change. You know, I still go around the world. I still put out the music that I put out. I'm still, you know, giving you crazy music. And uh, it's cool, Lord, but everything good with all that. that ain't, there's no issues over there. Okay. Uh, how was your experience with Cyrus? Sirius Radio, which is now Sirius XM, is a, is a great experience. It's uncensored radio. I'm on every Monday night. Uh, Sirius 40 XM 67. The show, uh, the show's called Invasion Radio. The channel is Hip Hop Nation and it's uncensored. It's like the new home of rappers actually coming to rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we don't do the gossip thing. I don't care about, you know, your issue with this guy or nothing like that. You know, you're gonna come on the show, you're gonna rap. <clears throat> and then we're gonna film it, we're gonna put it on the internet, it's gonna be a big deal. So you do get kind of like, you kind of, are you doing it kind of like Big Tigger um, in the basement? Uh, it's not like that, but in the sense of it's hip hop, it's an interview, you have a microphone, I'm a DJ, I got music, I'm gonna put a beat on and you're gonna rap. Okay. So, uh, you know, okay. that's where the that's where the uh, comparison starts and stops. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Big Tigger, that's my thing. Cool, cool. Um, well, you've done work with both underground and commercial artists. Uh, how do you compare these experiences and which one do you frankly enjoy the most? Yeah, I love it all, man. You know, the, the commercial is great. It'll be a sea of people, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, signing body parts and things like that. And the underground is passion. You know, it's like, you know, they, they drove six hours to see you and they, you know, they know all of your shit and they, they you know, they grew up on your mixtapes and your music and, you know, that's the passion. You know, that's the really the underground. So, I like it both. Okay. Well, uh, last year you also made a mixtape with Immortal Technique, uh, an album with him. How, yeah. What was that experience like? That was a little different. I only did like four, I only produced like four songs <coughs> on that. But, um, <coughs> excuse me, Bob. Man, Immortal Technique is crazy. He's a mad man. And, uh, I, uh, I'm just, you know, I keep him over here because he's really crazy. No, he's really um, nah, that, that joke was crazy. We vibed on music. We shot some music back and forth to each other. We, you know, some ideas and concepts. Uh, I think I ended up doing like four or five songs, producing like, the intro and hey, do you have anybody uh, to put on the Paula Renaissance, when you a couple of here, things, uh, the title the track, uh, when you get Third to the World, park, please that call one, me so I can send a few other come things, you and, walk you the and uh, okay? yo, more technique is dope, man, like, when I had the concept for, um, yeah, oh, we're here, the Bin Laden record, Bin Laden and Bill Project, that whole thing, right. I had the hook done before, <laughs> and uh, I was like, who, who could do I this did, record, has you know, it. I'll send it and I thought of, Ah, Mortal Technique, so that really kind of oh, no, just go lasted downstairs, off our musical the bell, get you relationships. You have to do it yourself, uh, just ask the doing bell. that project with him was just, right, right. that had to do it. Do you have And we actually no, working on something else. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Can, can, can you tell more about that? No, nah, so we didn't even start. We, we just started oh, what's up, man? Uh, talking about the uh, concept okay, of something. I'm going to let it out. Let's go look out for it. And then I'll come. Probably late at the end of this year. Maybe top of next year. We're trying to get a rush now. Uh, you're tour right now with Nas and Marley, right? Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, you've been you've been touring quite a bit in general. Uh, do you feel like, uh, as far as your production work, do you think that that's been hurt because you're yeah, busy touring a lot? Well, I would say it was up until recently. Uh, hey, how are you? I just, I just uh, jumped onto a computer-based program, 
so I've always been chained to the NBC for years. And that was an issue when I wasn't home or you know close to it. So uh, I recently switched over to a program called Logic. A lot of people in the production world use it. So I make a lot of beats on planes, trains, and automobiles. So my productivity is way high. Like I said, I did the whole Dead Press album. I'm doing a whole Styles P album. Um, we're putting out through the Orchard, uh, which is the same label that we went through for the Dead Press album. And uh, I'm making beats daily, man. Come see me. Get your money right. Okay. Um, being in hip hop, uh, have you ever felt like your Italian heritage being a little bit less traditional for hip hop has ever been a challenge? Never. It's your attitude and your knowledge and your creativity <coughs> and your drive and your talent. That's it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, going back for for a second to Shady, um, why did you replace DJ Head? Oh, what was I guess? Uh, what is it all about? I never knew that. I really, I, I ain't concerned myself with that, and it was never brought up. So. Okay, okay. Do you still keep in touch with Shady guys? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we you know, you see each other often. Well, not often, but semi-often when we see each other. It's cool. So okay. Shout out to uh, that whole team. Like, uh, or what? The Nine Porter. We're actually working on some stuff. And uh, I like the new Eminem album. He went back to the crazy thing. Yeah. With the chainsaw. I was low, right? So, yeah. Well, yeah. So everything's good. What's the next thing to uh, to watch out for uh, from you? I know you mentioned you got some going on with tech. And yeah, some with Mortal Technique, also some with Styles P. Styles P thing will probably be done before the Mortal Technique thing and the Styles join as a whole album. I'm um, producing the whole thing. <coughs> I might I might get a uh, premiere uh, on it if we can meet the deadline. Because Prem does a lot of touring and you know he'll he'll be like you know. You, are, you gotta wait two months for you know I'm, I'm on a tour you know so uh, we spoke about things and you know Prem is uh, on board to do it but you know schedules gotta work but that'd be dope you know if when we do the, the press for the Styles P thing if I could be like yeah you know I produced the whole thing and yeah I got one from Prem so you know uh, all parties have agreed to it but we gotta see about the schedule and then uh, the, the, the Styles P album Mortal Technique project. I got a brand new artist. His name is Johnny Polygon. Uh, a little different from the regular Green Lantern Lane. <coughs> uh, yeah, a little different in sense of uh, he's he's a unique individual. And it kind of it kind of lends itself to an urban alternative lane. That's what I would say in a general sense. But it's great music and uh, and there's also a crazy mixtape I'm working on with, uh, with Uncle Murray. You're doing, um, I mean, you're doing an album with Styles. Uh, what about Jada? I mean, he, he's the one, the conversation with him is the one that ended up kind of kind of changing your, your life at least a little bit, right? Uh, we, you know, kind of put that under the bridge and did another mixtape. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, it was called The Champions Here Part 2, Kiss mm -hmm. My Ass. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anything all else people now? that's concerned with that issue at this point can kind of just kiss both our ass. Okay, so that's that's just a part of the past. You, you're just you're moving on. And way past that. Done way too much crazy, dope shit since then, and yeah, it's all about the future, bro. Okay. Yeah. So what's yeah, who is the new DJ Green Lantern as of now? If you were to describe there yourself. There's no oh, new oh, DJ oh, Green Lantern. Oh, <laughs> it's just me. You got you know what? Shout to you, because you got really interesting questions. Yeah. Um, but there is no new DJ Green Lantern. It's me. In 2009, and you know, there's, there's you in 2001, then there's you in 2004, and there's you in 2009. So this is this is what I do. But you know, maybe uh, maybe specifically to answer your question, I'm, I'm, I'm busting your chops. I'm busting your chops right now. But basically, concentrating a lot on production. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, presenting an artist. It's a little different from what I do. I told you that already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know. Man, I'm out on the road. I'm getting that tour money, man, because a lot of these records ain't selling out here, man. And if you notice, your favorite rappers are on tour, mm -hmm. and that's where you find me. 
Great, great. Well, looking forward to a great show, and uh, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Peace.